Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am XGN Sventera. Uh, so I found this game on Steam. Um, it looked interesting for the most part. But uh... I'm not gonna lie. It's, uh, it's an indie game so it's early access as well. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some bugs and some typos and whatnot. Uh, let's go ahead and start the game. I don't know why he's asking that. I haven't even played. It makes no sense. We need to find a way into the sewers. According to the latest guidance, the underground laboratory of the Panacom Corporation is somewhere not far away. The graphics are pretty decent for the most part. I'll give it that. Not too bad. I do not like this weather. Time seems to freeze, and there are no souls on the street. The acting is horrible. This is me running. This is horrible. Come on. Log into sir. That took a really long time. I don't know about everybody else, but uh, I hate motion blur. I'd rather turn it off. It's really annoying. From one to floor, floor, the situation is out of control. The virus E, as it was called by the scientists, escaped from the lab areas. As a, sec a security representative, I don't know what to do. According to the protocol, this situation was not foreseen. The protective computer mechanism did not work. The contamination zones were not isolated, and they themselves were destroyed by fire. The employees were not evacuated. At the time of the accident, I was on the ninth floor. Because of this, I was probably... I probably didn't go crazy like the other employees. There was complete confusion and panic. The entire security department was distributed to all floors to take control of the situation. People began to go crazy. My partner and I were left to the patrol the floor and withdraw the staff, but all in the vein. He became inadequate, became infected. I could not save him in time. He pounced on me, bit off my hand. I shot him. I went back to the ninth floor. To hell with the orders. What is this if not punishment from heaven. I feel a strong weakness, bleeding from the nose, and a whole body burns. Soon I will become a damn beast, but this will not happen. I'd rather die a man than be a crazy monster. Anyone who reads this note, save yourself. Survive and tell people what happened here. Do not give them a damn contagion, not clearly from the blood. Take out our gun just in case some shit pops off. Music is rather dramatic. Secret. Due to this unstable situation associated with the E virus, on the basis of the mole 529, the order was number 928 was received to come date immediate evacuation of the following employees. Em 
employees of the Office of Security, Adam uh, Davis, the sequence number of the employee 59B, Chris Johnson, the sequence number of the employee 78C, Daniel Robinson, the sequence number of, for the employee 262, employees biological laboratory, A. Claire Johnson, the uh, sequence number 21B, uh, Isabella Taylor, the sequence number, employee 4233, uh, employees head of 529A, Let's see, Russell Foster, several number of employees, 98B, Russell, mm, Russell, the number, sequence number is employee 51 notifications on the result of consideration documents and the transfer of employees is secret base, mall uh, 529 will be considered by personally. All employees in the accordance with the order with transfer of the service with Ant Hill 184. The rest of the staff continue to work normally. Ap approved by Security Authority of Interior. Responsible Albert Wilson. Okay. Whatever. Ethan completely okay hole. Okay. Order of the team disguised the ninth floor under the sewer system on top of the iron base of the wall. Never in saw life at fifty meters layered was applied cement. Then they put a wooden door and metal rods. Ethan approved the work, after which is issued a seemingly fragile digital password lock made of armored alloy for each door. And it doesn't seem to look very reliable, but I have not seen such an alloy even in the textbooks. I will make a drawing for myself as a keepsake. The lock turned out to be an extremely complex construction. The cipher from the uh, from it was a kept secret, and it was issued only the employees. A secret under five to nine. I don't even know. A great honor for me, but. I'm a member of the engineering brigade, only comes around. It's one of the password secrets, the number of only two commanders who stand behind everything based on mole 529. I don't even know if it should be recorded, but it's interesting to understand this. It is known that at the moment, Panicum Corporation was the world's largest pharmaceutical pharma company, which is some way the metropolis. It produces a wide range of medicines, cosmetic products, and worldwide. Uh, see, it's always cosmetics and shit that always start fucking zombies and shit. Look at Resident Evil. Uh, but in fact, the Panic owns several well-protected and disguised bases. On one of them, I am now, uh, as well as ships, and even not everyone is already aware of their own satellites. The work is was not carried out in the end, and we did not have time to paint over the logo for the Corporation Panicum. Sorry. Among the guys, there are not very good rumors about the uh, employers are doing, but I will not go into it anymore. At the same time, I am a simple engineer, and for the money they pay here, what kind of experiments they give me there before the bulb. Okay. More far too long. And actually, let me see something. Is it this way? Yes, yeah, this way. I think. Five to nine. Five to nine. Nine eight. So everything after. 
529. So here's the hint. Head of 529. 98. And then I guess 51. Because that's the number right after 529. So nine eight five one. Just sounded like a secret. I said secret on top, and then you said everything after mole five two nine. So I guess we'll figure it out here in a second. So it's like nine eight five one. Nine. Well, of course, the emblem Panicum. Where without them, I'm on the right track. Panicum. He spells it K U M. Over here, it's spelled C U M. Horrible. Nine, eight, five, one. I'll be damned. Sir? You okay? Hello? I don't trust you. <laughs> the hell? Of course it'd be a cutscene. My first hey, zombie encounter. Are you okay? I think you got the what Ebola. The hell? Stop. I you don't know the way. Fuck off. Fuck off. What the? Shoot me in the fucking head, dude.
just in case. Because I don't trust it. Yep, and it's coming from the first floor. This kick is pathetic. You could do better with the sights. You can't even see the front. He's like literally aiming it down like that. Okay. Another puzzle. Possibly. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of zombies. I don't want to go there. Need a basement key. Okay. First floor. Let's go. Second floor. Let's go. I'm gonna be so pissed if they say I need a second floor key. Uh, or not. Oh god, he's already coming. Is it just you? That's quite enough. Go back. Go back. Oh shit, how do I do this? Let's fucking kick the shit out of you. What the hell? Don't turn your back on me. I call bullshit. He'll be back up. Shit out of my fucking bullet. See? Motion blur is annoying. Why does it look like they're gonna go into push up position before they fucking go down? Like, really? They don't just fall down, they just gotta do the beginning of a push up and then just go down? That makes no sense. Uh. Oh shit! Oh shit! I got the Ebola. Oh, the Ebola. What the? I can't even see. What the fuck? Oh my god. And I gotta reload. I can't even see what's going on. Horrible. What? Seriously? Really? All the way back here? X to open. 
Oop. Okay. Oh, that was easy. Go ahead and unlock that door and then save. So that if I die again, all I have to do is run. Well, of course, the emblem panicum, where without them, I'm on the right track. I don't like how you have to save. You have to click too much shit. I click the damn dream catcher. You gotta click the bed. Stupid. And then you have this long ass sequence just to save. Again, sir, let's do this. Hey, are you okay? I'm telling you, the acting is horrible. It's just as bad as House of the Dead, too. Fun game, horrible acting. What the hell? Stop. I will shoot. can't shoot his head off. Bullshit. I'd say let's save again, but uh, I only have two dream catchers. I don't mind doing the puzzle. He's gotta be back up. Come on, punk, get up. Go to two again. Okay. 
I gotta lower him so that I'm not getting jumped by two zombies. Over here. Positions. I'm wait for him to walk all the way back over here. Otra vez. He dies and loses his hat. What the fuck? somebody would Blur is annoying. Oh shit. That was actually scary. Oh come on. This motherfucker glid all the way up. Oh come on. Yeah. Oh, got the Ebola. Anymore. Do that in a second. 
shelter. Really? This damn thing is gonna block me? Bullshit. I'll come back and do the stupid Morse code in a second. Really? Six rounds left. And I can't kick. It's stupid that it forces you to use the gun. Serious, oh, God. Ugh, and I have no ammo, and I can't kick, and I'm gonna die right here with my Ebola. All right, anyway, my review on the game. It's got a lot of work to have to be done. <sighs> Save your money. It's horrible so far. They have a lot to do with the menu. They force you to use nothing but the gun. And you can't kick unless you're in a safe zone. Well, it makes, that doesn't make sense whatsoever. So, but there's no point of that. Uh, sorry guys, I wish this game was a lot better, but it's not. Like the video, subscribe, and I promise to play a lot better games than this. This is just horrible. Alright, here we going guys.